Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon. I went and I did a, a bit of a huge, like, clear out of crap. So we got a bunch of Pokeballs and stuff. We, we're good, okay? We're, we're good. Got the stuff. Uh, we got enough wood to make that doll for that guy now. And everything. We're good to go. But, whilst I was out there, I discovered a mossy rock. And I caught a second Eevee. It was not shiny. Just if, it, just if anyone was wondering. It was sadly not shiny, but allow me to introduce you to Leafeon. Maybe, maybe potential, potential. Doesn't look, that doesn't look anything like us. Doesn't look <laughs> anything like us. It's ridiculous. Could be, could be, you know, like we've got, we've got a team. I've got a structure building here it could be could be the one that's what i'm saying we're gonna keep leafing on us for now because it could be in fact the one um let's craft this doll for this guy real quick got like a weird creaky hand as well you see that? hey guy i got you that doll hmm what's this why this is a pokish doll i never saw one please let me have a closer look that's yeah, all yours dude yeah, amazing. Just look at how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your assertive carving shows that you've put love and care into your handiwork. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. And these colors, that you've definitely given it a vivid look. That's for sure. Yes, these hues must be very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this pokish doll is perfectly balanced. The glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, but yet, definitely remains upright. I know, I mean, I'm incredible, right? <laughs> Thank you. I have savored your bookish dolls to my heart's content. You use the same recipe, yet your pokish doll is a completely different feel to mine. Here, I'll give you a pokish doll I made. I took great care of crafting it. Look and see how it differs. You made Looks the same to me, dude. I don't want to tell you. Uh, right, well, also, we caught a whole bunch of dudes. Okay, right? So let me... Let's go to the pasture, actually, and talk about that for, like, a hot second. We caught a whole bunch of guys. Okay? And I found... thing I was very excited about. I found a, uh, a, a one of those dimensional, like, destabilization things. And it takes ages to form. Absolute ages to form. Um, but look at these Pokemon we found inside. I found a Lick Tongue, a Sneasel, a Gengar, a Licky Licky. Like, how cool is that? There was also a Golbat. Um, but he was in there prior to it. Um, but still, that's crazy, isn't it? Look at that fucking Lick a Tongue. How cool is that? Uh, I also found this Stantler. <laughs> I threw a Great Ball at it, and it just happened to catch. We're very lucky. I was very, very lucky. Um, I'm not going to use it, though. As strong as it is, as badass and as strong as it is, we ain't using it. Our stamp was right here. And it learned Psy Shield. It, learned, I, it probably learned Psy Shield a little while ago, because like I said, I didn't use this team whilst I was out there. Um, so, we just need to master this move. And then use it in agile mode 20 times, I think, to get an evolution prompt. So that's all we need to do for that one. Uh, Cypher, on the other hand, I still don't know. I'm assuming we still just have to get a metal coat and trade it. So, that's that. Uh, I also found a whole bunch of items in those little magical little rift things, which is pretty good. Um, and then let's have a look at the thing. We got our, we got our free shiny Pogita, a Munchlax. Eevee wanted to evolve, so I let it and evolved into a Sylveon. Got Driftloom man, we got Staravia still sitting over here as our as our team. It might just be worth adding Floatzel to this team, quite honestly. Probably could do with that Water Edge, but we also found Leafeon whilst I was out there, and I think Leafeon could be could be potentially. Potentially the one. 
We also got a Breezel. We also caught a Breezel. And I'm confident that this Breezel will be big enough to satisfy this guy's needs, okay? I think this is gonna be... gonna be it. You brought me a bigger Breezel? I have indeed, sir. It was... It was a uh, an alpha weasel. So surely, surely, it must be bigger. Look at the size of that boy. He's a chonker. Well, well I'll be. Didn't think they could get this much big. Look at them side by side. They almost look like a parent and his child. If there's room for me, and there's a little family. Look how... Look how the tip of the little one now to point up when it looks at us. Precious, <laughs> precious little thing. The big ones, rotation sack, that's a horrible. Uh, <laughs> there's something reassuring about how large it is. Something, uh, don't you think? Yes, I, yeah, I do, I love it. Uh, f funny how Pokemon, how Pokemon of the same species can be so different depending on which Bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon's sizes when you're catching them. It spice up your expeditions. Thank you for the favor. I know your survey cup folks at work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, mate. Just got just got two of them now, look at it. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Lady's got something for us too. Hello. I can't get a good night's sleep like this. What? Don't scare me like that. That's scary. No, no, everything's fine. Uh, whatever you need, come back later. All right. All right. Are you all right? Maybe a survey corps was like you could figure something out that was causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels, it feels like I'm not alone in there. Some kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple of times. Once in a while I hear something clatter. They're in my quarters and figure out what's happening. Do it at night, would you? Alright, fine. Are you to investigate my place? Sure. It sounds, you've got to be honest, it sounds pretty suspicious, but yeah, alright, I'll give it a look. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? <laughs> sure. Why not? I'm refraining from making obvious jokes. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Four pairs of sandals. Piggy. Off has been pulled to one side. Hair in the hem. Got black hair. Yo, is it a litten? Is it a litten? That would be lit. It's full of neatly, neatly folded uniforms. What's that fun? Right, you want to peek inside? You want to peek inside. Maybe closing a cape inside. I think to smell. It's like berries had been present here. Oh, it's from the entryway. <laughs> yeah, I, what? Get this, I guess. It bleeds a cloth. Draw it back. Ah, crackle, crackle. Bye, Fox, for a moment. Seems to ran by you. Back near the closet. <laughs> that wasn't it. Bit you. 
Hey, corpse, can you alright? And a strange noise. Dead. Been killed. You've got mice. Wait a moment. It's Pichu. Could it be? I sound absurd. I think it might be the Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Very for me. What, oh, because I fixed you up? You. Wait. This thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu. Not worrying. It was pointless. I have to think I was afraid of something, some spine chilling thing. Regardless, I hear you. I'm talking about gratitude. That berry, huh? Well, oh, you're welcome. Look after your Pichu. Another job successfully completed. Man, we're unstoppable. Plastic demon kid. Ignore the demon child. Ignore it, please. Thank you. And let's head out. Yeah, outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Thanks, mate. Go to the normal base, because we don't know where we're going yet. Diamond Clan's noble Pokemon's going to a frenzy. The girl sent out earlier must be eating some of Benny's potato mochi. The smell it though. Why are you smelling people who passes by? It reminds me. I've seen Mistress Cabela riding around at Ursa Arena. She says. Digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Luna uses his smell. What's this suss out the treasure might be? Oh, you really do lay it on thick, don't you, eh? This is the worst. I <laughs> like it, it really, honestly, it is honestly the worst. The <laughs> it's up there, I guess. Ah! Can't quite, can't quite get up there. How do we get up there? Is there like a little ledge? I have to go all the way around here, apparently. I'm oh, fine. All the way around. And it's this way. What the fuck? I fell off. Oh, because of the stupid skunk tank. Look at all these horrors. The more it, it's speeding up and slowing down is actually awful. It's actually horrible. Found it. Alright. Oh, Shiffles. And it'll go with Usaluna. Calmed him down. Wow, you really are strong. How'd you find me all the way out here? From the potato mochi. Oh, the same as the potato mochi? Or the wolf one? Man. Wish I could eat something more than more than those right now. Life Village sure is a lot of fun. My luck's right out there. You can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle. 
Pretty bad. I was running away. Almost like the Lord wants to punish me. Oh, there you are. There you are, Azu. Right? Eek. Mistress Cabela, I, uh, I, I, I didn't. I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the, from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for what for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but it's not your fault that Lily can't become frenzied, nor that my Uzalina was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? Didn't even have the cure. The courtesy to listen to you. You think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient? It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Luna only started acting weird after he got close to Lilligant. Smelled her perfume. I'm sure that's what caused it. That explains the strange powder I found on Usa Luna. It must have been a powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? Every ingredients to make blams, but fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Saluna, and also learn about crafting. While I was there, I bumped into a Professor Livington. He told me about the blams he used on Kelvor. But if I make them for Lydigan using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well then, we'd better take care of our lady and get this mess resolved fast. Hello, man. What, what were you thinking, doing all this yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though no one would blame you for thinking so. Much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen the Almighty Senna with my own eyes. I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Shiffles. I'll take the blams that Erzu made and meet you at the Brave Arena. Oh, that was very. As if Shiffles will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. Things should settle down. Head to the Brave Arena, Shiffles. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Erezu, Erezu will be taken care of, of my dear, by Beryl, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Alright. Oh. Oops. I'll leave you on, grab those acorns. Gotta do a, gotta do a run. Jeez, it's freaking not too far away, actually. But how the hell do we get there? <laughs> That's a different question. This is a big ass mountain in the way. Try going around this way? Oh, this map isn't. Doesn't show elevation very well, does it? Oh, it's actually up here. It's not up here at all. This is a different quest. Oh, how do we get up there then? Use our friend here. Well, there's no unknown in here, that's for sure. Also, no way up. Got a Skyrim horse. This. Fine. This is the way. I think we have to go up this way anyway. I'm 
sure there must be a stairway the other way, right? Surely. Mark? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh shit, there's like a whole a whole village here. Oh, this is a diamond settlement. Interesting. You're from Galaxy Team, aren't you? You know those medicines that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. Give them these little ones and I can tell you they've been suffering terribly. I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried work at all. So many people in Galaxy Team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Um, yeah, sure. I'll ask if I, when I pass. Shit. Right ons. Huh. Crap. Crap. Oh, he's a bit higher level than you, Leafion. A bit higher level. That doesn't seem to matter. Just live this and you'll be fine. Incredibly. Well done. Um, let me use a ball. Great ball. Maybe you should use a heavy ball, actually. That would have made more sense, wouldn't it? But we got him anyway. Well done, Leafeon. Right? Huh? Noise. Right on. Oh my god, Luxio can evolve. believe Luxio can evolve. We're in third evolution stages already. Alpha right hold over there. I think we could do a sneak. She's quite angry. Huh. <laughs> oh shit, he knows where we are. Run! Run away! Huh. 
Wait, wait quickly, the FPS is dropping. Oh yeah, that guy wanted a parasite, didn't he? Oh yeah, this guy wanted a Alright. Look, I'm getting a phone call, okay? So I'll tell you what. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna end a little bit earlier just because I've got to take care of something real quick. And I'll see you all next time. Okay? Bye bye.